wearing my pajamas, but would you ever know that? No. Hey guys, it's Riley, and welcome back to my channel on this very fine Trans Tuesday. As y'all are aware, or if you're not, where have you been? It is the week of Christmas. For my last Christmassy holiday themed video, I thought I would talk about holiday and seasonal depression. Not just holiday and seasonal depression in general, but more towards the LGBTQ plus community. As someone who has chronic depression and is trans, LGBTQ+, whatever, holiday depression affects me significantly. And I know that holiday and seasonal depression affects a lot of other people, even people who don't actually suffer from depression. It's just kind of a slump that people get into around the colder months. Of course, seasonal depression can happen at other times of the year, but I think the most like researched time of year is the winter, if I'm correct, if I'm not comment below and correct me with the source please. But as a trans person I can say from like my experience the holidays are a really really difficult time with depression and dealing with that even though I dealt with it on a regular basis in the first place it's more difficult when you're around the family and the non-acceptance and all the religious things and people telling you that you're wrong and everything becomes kind of a mess. Dealing with depression and especially like holiday depression really sucks and it takes a lot of effort out of you and kind of prevents you from doing productive things. Like any other depression you just kind of want to stay in bed or just not be productive. It's not like you don't want to be productive it's just that you can't. I still struggle with it so I don't think I can tell you exactly how to get over it and if I could it wouldn't be for everybody. One of the things that I do that helps me a little bit not feel as sad or down in the dumps with the depression is definitely watching Christmas movies. I don't know if that'll work for you, but one of my favorites is The Grinch with Jim Carrey. It's so funny and makes me crack up and die of laughter every single time I watch it. Same with all the Santa Claus movies with Tim Allen, the Disney ones. I love those too. Something I noticed that helps me is getting like really into the spirit, like putting myself into a situation where I have to do something. Not necessarily a social situation though, but like setting my alarm in the morning so I actually get out of bed and then going to decorate something, decorating a tree or or just watching Christmas movies or making edits or something that gets me going and gets me in the Christmassy mood and kind of takes my mind off of how horrid I'm feeling. Having seasonal depression is really difficult, especially when you have actual depression all year round. I'm not saying that seasonal depression is not actual depression, it's just not like chronic depression. Having seasonal depression on top of when you have depression all year round can be super super difficult because you're already depressed. And then when that season comes by, it's just like a double load of misery. One thing that I think I've read somewhere, I don't know, don't quote me, I don't know for sure, was that part, something that stems seasonal depression could be lack of sunlight and like vitamin D. I think it's vitamin D, I don't know. This year one of the things that I'm looking to get is a ring light that's got UV rays. So it's providing a natural Artific artificial natural light, basically. So it's getting all the UV rays, which are the same rays that come from the sun, so it gives me more vitamin D. One thing that I've noticed with me is that when I'm out and about in like sunlight or I have my windows open and shades open and everything, when the sun is shining, I'm in a much better mood. And I don't know why that is for me. It could be just because it's sunny or it could be the rays that are coming out. I don't know, but I'm gonna try that lamp and see if it works this year, and if it does, I'll be sure to let you guys know. Seasonal depression, I think, is a very tough topic to discuss on because, again, it's different for everyone, just like depression is different for everyone, and things like that are obviously different for everyone. Maybe one thing I would suggest is going to watch, like, a movie, not even, like, holiday-themed, or, like, a movie or video or something that brings you up and makes you laugh, and just set aside time for you, especially at this time of year when you're experiencing the seasonal depression and set aside some time to make yourself laugh or to enjoy yourself. Self-care is a very, very important thing in the first place, especially in times like this when you don't feel so hot. I'm definitely at some point going to make a self-care video. I don't know when, and I don't think it's going to be a trans education video just because it's not just affecting LGBTQ plus people. I think this was a very like short and simple sweet video. If there are other things that you guys would like me to talk about regarding seasonal depression or depression in general with LGBTQ people, let me know in the comments below and just help me out. Like what can I do? What can I do to help 
you. Also, if you enjoyed this video or if it helped you in the slightest, but I don't know how it would help because I, I, I don't really know what I did today. But if you want, you can give it a big thumbs up. It makes me look cool and it lets me know that you're enjoying these kinds of videos. I make two videos a week on this channel. One on Tuesdays, which are my hashtag trans education series, and then one on Thursdays, which is just this random stuff. So you can definitely subscribe if you want to see those videos every week. I also have a side channel on which I've been doing Vlogmas, so the link to that will be in the description. And you can go subscribe over there and send it's the week of Christmas and most of my vlogs are up so you got a lot of material to get through. <laughs> I'm also on a collab channel called Quite the Collab. The link is also in the description for that and it's a very, very cool collab channel. We post a new video every single day with a brand new topic every week so you should be sure to go check that out. And last but not least, my gift keyboard giveaway is still going on. There's still some cool stuff to win. Not a lot of stuff, but hey, you can go check out the video best iPhone app ever. The link will be in the description to the video and the description of that video will tell you all the requirements to enter and yeah, you can do that and that'd be super, super cool. That's all I have for you today on today's video of Hashtag Trans Education. I really hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys on Thursday. Love you. Bye.